because I came to Texas Tech. For those two years, I've done a lot of work there. Um, it doesn't matter what I did today, but I know I did all my best, you know, these nationals. I didn't get my championship title, but I did all good, but I'm happy about what I did there. Going there, take the pace out and see whatever I can give out. But everything was good, so I'm happy for everyone who has win Chess Little Lowy. It has been good accomplishment for me. And in college learning, I've learned a lot of things. It has helped me to be a good person in everything I do. I have to stand for myself. I should not depend on others. So every time I go somewhere, I have to make sure I work hard every time. What was the highlight of your career at Texas Tech? It's, I've done a lot of stuff there in Texas Tech, school-wise and in sports. Uh, a lot of things I've achieved them, but it's not all about me, but they all come from the Texas Tech community, all the students and coaches and all the, all the, all the sport administration. And they give me a lot of support since I came there. So and give thanks to them and everything so i will always be a product of texas tech wherever i'm going on it doesn't matter i still be there that's my home even the lambo community is having good friends i've been there training there and everything has been good for me there this season in particular what was a highlight this season you know, the nation's fastest 10k time number two 5k time let's talk about how you got better this year as an athlete yeah since i started from january you know and did up the indoor i trained very well during the last time getting rid of an outdoor season Everything came very well, training-wise with coach. And when I came to in outdoor season, I ran for a while. I ran the miles. I tried to run 1500, 5K. I ran 59, 5K in Mount Sac, I ran very fast. I went to Stanford again, I ran 10K, then conference regionals. I didn't feel well there. So compared to this meet national-wise, you can see my time is still there. I haven't lost a lot. The guys who are, the guys national, they come very strong. I know they are very strong guys. The guys who are finished ahead of me, they are not like that. They are very good guys, if you see. It's competitive, you have seen that 5K there, it's very competitive, so I'm feeling good, yeah. Congratulations, Candice. Thank you. What was your strategy coming into the race? Yeah, you know, you know, you don't know what happened, you know what's happened on Wednesday in 10K, didn't go wherever I wanted, you know, 10K was very hard race, so, you know, it's very long distance, if nobody there to come to push me up, so today in 5K, my plan was to go there and push very hard, make sure I'm in the light present, whether someone is coming against me, so I knew there was chases and Lowy, so, I have to keep my pace going up because I was like, I see there was, I was thinking about I might miss miss from the whole American if I'm not going to do anything. So my plans worked very well. Yeah. Did you talk to Lowy before the race? No, no, we didn't talk. I didn't talk with him. You know, every when you go somewhere like that, you you must have that like, like your own plan. I had my own plan. Lowy has on, on his own plan. Chesley has his own plan. But my plan was to make sure past mile is very fast and make sure we come like eight thirty two miles or. I'll be in a good position. That was my plan. So, what were you thinking when you and you and Lowy sort of traded off the lead with a couple of those laps? What were you thinking then? Yeah, I know when he came beside me, I know someone is coming to challenge me, so I have to keep pushing him. So, I when I see the clock, I was like, oh, we are in the light press. I, we came like eight or three, three k. So I was like, we are in the light press. So I have to hang out there. But the time they make the last move in 1200 meters and go, my body was exhausted, so I could not move. I was like, I have to just maintain the speed which I have learned. Do you think? You know, did you, you come in thinking that the Chesarek was a possibility after you know, what he's done in these races and NCAA championships? Yeah, you know, I had that hopes of trying to challenge him, but I know he's a very good guy, he's strong, he's shown everything. You see the 10K, someone who's run like 53 in last love, he's a strong guy, so I know we, we can match up together sometime, but I know he won this mid here. I know he's a very good guy with love with Indian family. What are your plans now? Um, after Texas Tech. Yeah, I still have school till longer, so after that, I, I know that there will be a good plans ahead after that. I know. I know I haven't figured out something else, but I have to stay with the coach and train with him there, yeah. Okay.